Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our Big 12 football predictions today. And our next team, Kansas State Wildcats. So last season, Kansas State finished the season 9-4. and four. They won their last three and then upset Texas A&M in the Texas Bowl to get to that ninth win. So that was a really huge uh, and an, uh, kind of an unexpected season for Kansas State last season. I think they started off the season 2-2. Two and two. Things uh, were kind of looking down. Jesse Ertz kind of emerged as a star quarterback, dual threat. So he's going to be key this season uh, with those eight returning starters on offense. Uh, they also have six returning starters on defense, so that's going to help them out. Bill Snyder going into his 26th year at Kansas State. Yes, I know he took a little break there, retired in 05 and came back in 09. But overall, he's been at Kansas State for 26 years. Uh, and he's got this Kansas State team kind of flying under the radar. A lot of people have them pegged as a dark horse team in, uh, in the Big 12. A lot, some people don't. Some people uh, see them being about average. So let's see how they're really going to do. Opening up the season against Central Arkansas, one of the more dangerous teams in the uh, in the FCS. Not up there with North Dakota State or anything, but uh, middle of the pack. I think they start off the season ranked 16th in the FCS. Uh, UCA and Central Arkansas could give them a challenge for about a quarter or two, but in the end, Jesse Yurtz and the Wildcats are obviously going to pull away with the win there. I mean, do not forget that Kansas State did lose to North Dakota State uh, a few years ago in the season opener. And, you know, they did have uh, high expectations. They ended up turning it around, but... Uh, they didn't. They have lost to an FCS team before, uh, but I don't think it's going to happen this year. And then they get Charlotte, a team that, remember last year in the season opener against Louisville, got run over. I think they're going to improve a little bit this season, but not great enough. No way they're going to beat Kansas State. That would be a bigger shocker, I think, than losing to Central Arkansas. And then Vanderbilt. Some people have this game picked as a Vanderbilt victory, as a, kind of an upset. Uh, they had Vanderbilt winning this game, but still have Vanderbilt finishing last in the SEC East. Vanderbilt does improve, have a, has improved on offense. We know they're going to be a good defensive team, and it's on the road, which could pose a little bit of a concern for Kansas State. However, I do not think Kansas State is going to lose this game. I think they're going to be riding high. They, they're flying under the radar. They did start off number 20 in the AP poll. I think they're going to get the win over Vanderbilt. might be closer than it should be, but I think in the end, uh, it's going to come down to who can score the most points on offense, and Kansas State has better offense than Vanderbilt. I think Vanderbilt has the better defense, but they have the better offense, and I think they're going to be able to put up more points than Vanderbilt will. And I think they're going to get the win, uh, and a big win over an SEC team uh, on the road. So that'll be uh, huge for Kansas State. But it also wouldn't surprise me if Vandy wins this one. But right now, I'm going to stick with the Wildcats. Then they get a bye week going in to play Baylor. They get to draw Baylor at home. Baylor's a team that could have to rebuild a little bit this season with Matt Rule coming in as head coach. I mean, it's not going to be like a horrible, you know, three and nine, four and eight season for Baylor, but. Uh, they are going to have to rebuild a little bit because he's going to have to implement his style of play that he used to run over there at Temple. Kansas State gets him at home, and they're going to be rested coming off that bye week. I'm going to give them another win here over the Bears, and they're 4-0 to start the season, so watch out for the Wildcats. I know they're only 1-0 in conference play, but still, 4-0 probably could be looking at top 10 since they started off at number 20, so we need to watch out for them. This is where the schedule gets tough, and this is where it's really going to define the season for Kansas State. This three-game stretch at Texas, TCU at home, and Oklahoma at home. These three games will define the entire season, I think, for Kansas State. It's going to make a break whether they're going to be Big 12 title contenders or not. We'll start with the Texas game. With it being on the road, and Texas being led by Tom Herman, 17 returning starters. You've seen all the facts. You've heard all the facts. Uh, I don't feel confident in picking Kansas State in this game. They're going to be a very good team. And Jesse Yards, at quarterback, I I like him. I like the hype. I'm buying into the hype. I think he's going to be good. But Texas, with those 10 starters back on defense uh, and then being in a hostile environment, I'm not going to give Kansas State the win here. I'm going to hand them their first loss of the season uh, to the Longhorns. And then TCU, they get them at home. Remember, Kansas State defeated the Horned Frogs last season at TCU 30-6. to That was in the season finale. But it's a completely different season. TCU is much more improved than their 6-7 and seven record uh, from last season. They, they returned 17 starters as well, and their offense is going to, be, going to be extremely dangerous. I'm going to predict a Kansas State loss here at home. Back-to-back -back losses for them, which is not good. Uh, if I had to choose out of these three games, or out of these two games, which one they would win, it would maybe be this TCU one as of now. Uh, I kind of was a little bit of a toss-up game there, but not really. I feel really confident this TCU uh, team Gary Patterson is going to make sure they turn it around from that horrible season they had last year. Uh, they're going to want to redeem themselves after the beating they took at home, get revenge at Kansas State. So I, th I think they're going to lose that game. And then they get Oklahoma, probably the top dog in the Big 12, as we all know. Um, 
you know, I know the Ball Stu's retirement has kind of freaked everybody out, but they're still led by Baker Mayfield, and they're, they're going to have a very dangerous offense as well. And I don't think uh, their interim or their new head coach, Lincoln Riley, uh, is going to do a horrible job with the Sooners this season. So I'm going to give Kansas State, unfortunately for the Wildcats, another loss to the, to the top dogs in Oklahoma. And like I said, and now out of these three games, I know it's it's kind of improbable to think that other oh, start four and other than lose three straight. It happens, it does. But if I had to choose a game they would win out of these three games, it would probably be the TCU game, maybe the Oklahoma game, but more so the TCU game. I think they can maybe hang with TCU more so than Oklahoma. We'll just have to wait and see. I can see them winning one of those home games. Don't see them beating Texas. Could be winning one of those home games. Right now, I just don't feel confident in either of those. I want to keep them at all losses. But then, likely, they get a break. They get to face some of the uh, bottom-tier teams in the Big 12 at Kansas, at Texas Tech. Despite them being on the road, I think they're going to be able to get wins over both of them. Kansas is going to, get, going to continue to struggle. Hopefully, they'll get back to, uh, to respectable records, You know, maybe a five-win season, hopefully crack into a bowl game soon. Might not happen this year. I think Kansas State, over their in-state rivals, Black markers running out. Going to get a win over Kansas. And then at Texas Tech, a team that has a very dynamic offense, as we've seen under Cliff Kingsbury. If Kansas State's defense doesn't show up for this game, this could result in a loss. But right now, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to give them the win over the Red Raiders. Apologize for the marker malfunctions. West Virginia at home. That's going to be a big game for them as well. They're going to the final stretch here. Remember last season, they won the last three games of the season and finish strong. Will they do the same this year? I think they start off strong uh, in those final three games, get the win over the Mountaineers at home. Will Greer, very good quarterback, but they don't return many starters on defense. Uh, I'm a little concerned about that. I do think they're going to get the win over the Mountaineers, though. Uh, thank you. So, yeah, get the win over the Mountaineers. At Oklahoma State, a team with a very dynamic offense, as you've seen in my videos and heard me talk about through these Big 12 videos, Mason Rudolph at quarterback, James Washington at running back, a fairly decent defense, uh, could make Oklahoma State not only Big 12 title contenders, but maybe playoff contenders as well. Go look at my Oklahoma State video, see what I have to say about that. With it being on the road, though, it does pose a little bit of concern, uh, and I'm concerned with Kansas State's defense. I feel more confident in their offense, more so than their defense. Uh, and with it being on the road to Oklahoma State against a team that could be fighting for a Big 12 championship appearance, I think Kansas State will lose this game much better. Then Iowa State, uh, a team that has also struggled, much like Kansas. They usually kind of flip-flop back and forth on who's at the bottom of the Big 12 standings. Uh, with being at home, wanting to finish strong with the, the final win there, I think they're going to get it over the Cyclones. Might be a little close because depending on how Iowa State is, they might just want to be playing spoiler, uh, playing for, for some pride. But I think I'm going to give the Wildcats another win. And that, like Texas, in my Texas video, gives them an 8-4 and four record. Not bad. Same record from last year, actually. They obviously won their bowl game to get them to nine wins. But same record from last year. Could be seen as a disappointment from Wildcat fans, considering that they there is a quite a bit of hype around Kansas State. They're kind of flying under the radar. But I do see them finishing about middle of the pack, Big 12 this season, 8-4. and four. The schedule gets tough, especially in that three-game stretch when they're playing some of the top dogs. Um, if they're lucky, they'll pull an upset against TCU or Oklahoma. Even though they're at home, I would consider it an upset and they'll get the win or get to nine wins. Right now, I'm going to keep those at losses. But like I said, this three-game stretch is what's going to really hurt them because the schedule is very favorable for the most part. So if they can steal one or maybe two of these games in these three-game stretches, Kansas State is a legitimate Big 12 title contender. We'll just have to wait and find out. But watch those Wildcats this season because Bill Snyder always gets the best out of his teams, uh, and they can be a very dangerous team to the top dogs in Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. And TCU, maybe Texas, but let's keep an eye on them because, like I said, Bill Snyder likes to fly under the radar and surprise people. So please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and please continue to share our videos, and we'll see you next time on The Gridiron Expert.